Welcome. In this recording we are going to be working on setting up groups. I'm going to show you how to set up a group and how to add people to that group once it is set up. Now this is specifically a video that uh, leadership will want to watch. If you are not the leader of a group or if you're not going to be setting up groups then uh, you will not be needing the information on this video. However, if you are an elder or a deacon or a Sunday school teacher and you may be working with groups, this is information that may be useful to you. And we're going to start, I'm using my own profile for this one, and we're going to start in the admin key on the left. If you'll click on admin, You'll see that that opens up and you have all the subheadings under it, admin. And we see the setting for groups. Now we're going to click on groups. Now, if you're going to add a group that does not yet exist, your first instinct might be to go to all groups. But what the uh, uh, subheading of all groups actually is, these are groups that are already set up. And they're just listed here alphabetically by uh, name of group. And you see here some of the groups that have so far been set up. We're just getting started with this. So we don't have very many in place. Now to set up a group, what we have to do is we have to go to this subheading here called Ministry Areas. You click on Ministry Areas. And basically what we have here is a flow chart of the way that our groups are plugged in to our structure at Main Street Presbyterian Church. Now we're just getting started with this, so we don't have a lot of information in place here. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things. This he heading here called System Groups, that is one put in place automatically by Realm, so we don't even have to really deal anything with it. The next primary uh, or top ministry area we've got is church education and fellowship. Now the way these are set up we may at some point come back and change them. They're fairly simple to change but for right now we have this heading church education and fellowship. That's going to be our Sunday school classes and later when we get them going again that's where our community groups would go is under church education and fellowship then we've got a heading called church leadership now this is uh, the one we're going to be working with today I'm going to click on it and you see that it's got three uh, 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 ministry areas under it we have church officers we have church committees and we have our shepherding groups. Now shepherding group was kind of uh, an odd one. I was trying to figure out where to put it. It's actually uh, an administrative group utilized by uh, our elders. It's an administrative and ministering group. Uh, the, elder, the church membership is divided up into different shepherding groups and under uh, and there's a elder over each of the shepherding groups and uh, this is a ministry that's been going on for some time at the church it's a way in which the elders can split up the membership and uh, look at uh, the different people in their group try to stay in contact with them and uh, stay on top of needs that those families and their shepherding groups may have. Now I wasn't quite sure where to put it in the structure so for right now shepherding groups is in church leadership. Later we may move it somewhere else. It may have a standalone place all by itself but for right now it's under leadership because it is under the leadership of our elders. And if I click on shepherding groups We'll see what groups are under it. Now so far there's only one group in our shepherding groups and that's the Brewer, uh, Brewer group. Uh, Alan Brewer and I set this group up uh, just this last week and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add other groups 
to this ministry area and uh, and then how to add people to it so what we're going to do first we're going to go back up here to shepherding groups and go over to these little three dots which if you click on them they bring up a, a little sub menu you've got the option to edit the ministering uh, the ministry area which the ministry area is shepherding groups we can actually edit that group uh, we can add a sub ministry area maybe there's another heading we'd like to put under shepherding groups in this case we don't need another ministry area under that but what we do need to do is add a group to the shepherding groups so we're going to click on that we're going to add a group and that brings up this page you see it says add new group at the top and we see where it's located the group is going to be under church leadership and under shepherding groups now the name of this group we're going to set up trip Hairston's group so this is going to be the, the Harston group And we're not going to deal with the description right now. Tripp may want to come back and add his own description for that later. Now, the leader of the group is going to be Tripp Harston. And there he comes up. I start to type his name. He comes up. All I have to do is click on him. All right. Group type a shepherding group that is an actual group we have on our list we're going to set the settings for the group we're going to let it be uh, is it going to be visible when someone looks at groups are they going to see it and right now we've got it as anyone can see the group availability it's always available on the groups page these are things we can come back and change later if we decide they don't work well like this uh, check in we can set an attendee to leader ratio that might be more useful for a Sunday school class we don't need it here attendance uh, if this is a group that meets physically we can set it up so that there's attendance information maintained on it since shepherding groups are not going to meet as a group we're gonna do away with that there's no need for attendance also under that attendance information had we set it up you got the option that realm will notify leaders if a person in a group is absent for three or more consecutive times but since we're not using that feature this time that's a that's a moot point there's no need to limit the membership count although we could put a figure there if we wanted to and then they have what they call recess periods if this was a group that met on a regular basis but like many of our activities at the church, they take off for the summer. They don't participate. There's no uh, activity during those summer months. Then we can actually go in here and add that recess period to that group. So if you have a Sunday school class that uh, meets during the school year but does not meet during the summer, we can uh, write that in and make that part of this uh, this group so that the computer knows or that realm knows that there's no need to take uh, attendance information during those recess periods uh, that's also a moot issue in forming this group uh, on the participants list we can show this different information we can show when they join the group when they last logged in to realm uh, their age and their birthday or the date last attended now for shepherding groups the only information that's really of interest uh, for our leadership I believe would be age or birthday might be helpful communication who in the group can create post well uh, we can set it up so anyone in the group can uh, uh, create post that leaders only or that no one can uh, because of the nature of these groups for right now we're going to say that leaders only can make post who can create events well only the leader and who can post photos only the group leader we're going to leave group chat on 
because the leader may want to uh, have a chat with his group. Uh, uh, Trip may want to uh, uh, send out a, a bit of information on his chat uh, and say something and he can get a response back from the members of the group at large. Demographics for the group. Uh, is it going to be just male or will it be both male and female in the group? Well, we're going to have both in this particular group. Is there a certain age range? No, there's not. Marital status is not going to matter. There will be singles, there will be uh, couples uh, in this group. So that does not matter. Uh, and then we have a place where if we have it, if this group, say, had its own Twitter or Facebook page, the links to those could be put here in this information. Since our, our uh, shepherding groups don't have uh, specific uh, Twitter or Facebook links, that will also be a moot point. So we've got our group set up. We're going to hit save. And now when we go back to the groups page or to the ministry areas page, we'll see that under shepherding groups, there is now a new group called the Hairston group. Harston group. We're going to click on that group and we see our information. We see that Trip is the leader and we see uh, where the group falls in the lineup of our ministry areas. Now up here at the top of the page with the Harston group you're going to notice there's some headings. We've got the info, we've got events. Uh, I don't think uh, generally, the uh, elders do events with their shepherding groups, but if they wanted to, they could. They could set up an event. Uh, maybe they want to have a uh, fellowship early one Sunday morning or, or maybe some Sunday night. They could set up such an event right here, and it would appear on the calendar and be posted in Realm. Who are the participants in the Harston group? Well, we don't have any entered yet. Right now the only one is Trip. He's a leader uh, and he's the only one in there. We also have a place where we can uh, have invites um, uh, to this and we can also post resources. Uh, perhaps uh, Trip has an email that uh, a couple of times a year he sends out and sends the same basic information. He could put a file here in his resources and any time he wanted to pull from that file, he could and email it to his group. Now let's look at how to add someone to the group. Now I don't know, I don't have Tripp's list in front of me. I don't know who's in the group. But the way that you add someone, you go to the little blue button that says add a person. And you start typing their name. Now I don't know who's in there. I don't know which group I'm, I'm in. But just for uh, purposes here of demonstration, I'm going to start typing my name. And you'll see my profile comes up here. So I click on it and then hit add and I'm added as a member to his group. And all Trip has to do is take his list of uh, people that are in his group uh, start typing their name there and if they are already in Realm their information will come up and all he has to do is click add and then they'll be in the group. I'm going to uh, uh, add Linda, my wife, to this group. And we see there it is. She comes up and all I have to do is click on her name and hit add and she's added to the group. Now one of the cool things you can do once you set up your group is you can give your group an image to make it easier to find in the list. If uh, you noticed over here when we looked at the groups, look at all groups, because there's no images in place they, they don't stand out. Now we got an image for children's ministry, we got an image for deacons, uh, we've got an image for ruling elders. We've got an image for the salt and light class. I can find him. See, it's so hard to find. There's the Harston group. There's no image. It doesn't stand out. So what we can do is we can click on the group. We go back into our edit mode. Right here it says add a group image. We click on that. And we can choose a file. Now I downloaded a picture a little while ago of a shepherd. 
and we can bring that picture up we get this little editing screen just like the one we use when we are putting in a profile picture we can play with the size of the picture we're trying to get it inside those little that little square which is going to be our profile picture and that's about right we're going to hit save and now we've got an image for the Harston group now when we go to our list and see all the different groups oh there it is it's real easy to find we can go back into it one of the great things about having our group set up this way is we can go to our participants list and like let's say that I've made a mistake here and uh, Linda and I are not supposed to be in the Harston group well all you have to do is click on us like that go up here where it says select an action now I've got the option I can move us to another group I can remove us from the group I can enter other information on us or I can pr print labels about us now I could either move us to another group and all I have to do is search for the group I want to move them to move us to say we're supposed to be in the Brewer group well there it is I can click on that and hit move and it will show that we were moved to it and I have the option to keep a history of this move or I can clear the history so that it well, won't record that we were moved from one group to another uh, in this case since I really don't know where we belong and uh, I was just using us as an example I'm going to hit this and move and uh, just remove us from the group and we're going to clear the history and hit OK